Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back starting to get into the time of year where you're going to start seeing this setup more than you will see me out in the field. Unfortunately, that's what you get with winter in the north. So today's video is actually not equipment related. I've got a podcast for you. So my buddy Rick and I have finally started a podcast that you guys have been asking for. Uh, I've been talking about it in my live streams, which if you don't watch the live streams, you're more than welcome to join us at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday nights. I do it almost every Sunday night. We go live, hang out, chat. It's a lot of fun. But today's video is about the podcast. So Rick and I have started a podcast. It's geared towards the skilled trades in general. It is not specific to the dirt industry. And we've got some really good guests lined up. So here in the next week or two, I've got Aaron Witt coming on. We have the senior vice president of the, let me make sure I get this right, the Association of Equipment Distributors. He's going to be on talking about uh, some of the infrastructure bill coming up. Uh, we just got a really diverse variety of topics, but it's also really low key, really easy to listen to. Our goal is to give you something entertaining to listen to in the cab of your machine. So that being said, I release the podcast every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. That way you guys have something in your cab for Wednesday morning to kind of get you through the hump day of the week. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to finish my segment of the video here, and I'm going to send you guys out with just a little snippet of the podcast. So check down below. I've got links to the iTunes, Spotify, and just the RSS feed. Which, by the way, if you don't know how to subscribe to a podcast, it's really easy. If you're already on Spotify or iTunes, all you need to do is go up to the search bar for the podcast section and search for Sweat and Grime, and we should pop right up. Make sure you subscribe. If you don't have Spotify or iTunes, just do a quick search in either the iStore or over on the Google Play Store and find a free podcasting app. This is not a service you have to pay for. This is totally free of charge. And then you can use the RSS feed, which again is down in the description here. You can use the RSS feed, drop that in, and it should pull us right up. Obviously, if you have any questions or have any issues, feel free to shoot me a message or, or drop a comment down below. So that's it. That's all I've got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and enjoy this little snippet of sweat and grime. And then, uh, and then we also bought some edibles and the edibles actually, believe it or not. So I've never been a huge fan of edibles just because it's really hard to gauge how it's going to hit you. And generally you have this huge wide open window of it could take effect in an hour or in like three. <laughs> Depends how the batch was mixed out and poured. Oh my God. So so funny story, uh, back when I was, uh, just out of college living down in Texas, I had a buddy of mine that we were, you know, best friends at the time. And, and we had a long history together. And so he was bringing his, basically I knew she was going to be his wife over like, like they had been dating long enough. I hadn't officially met in her met met in, is that a word met in met in. I had never Michigan. met in her. Uh, so I'd never met her before and he was going to bring her over, but they had been dating long enough. And I had been talking to him enough. Like, you know, there's just sometimes, you know, that's the one and that's the way this girl was, but she's like a super staunch. Are we on fucking cupid.com? I think that's actually where they met, believe it or not. Oh, I thought that's what this show was. Turning no, no, into. no, no, no. So, so he's going to bring her. She's a super staunch Christian. She actually, uh, teaches, at the college level, like Bible history. I don't even know what the fuck she teaches, but she's like super straight and narrow. And here I am, you know, Miss Party off. Down. Yeah. And so um, at the time kind of happening at the same time, I had a grandfather that was suffering from Parkinson's. And so uh, it was kind of about, this is, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago. So this is kind of when all of the stuff was coming out about how impactful weed could be for Parkinson's. And so I was like, well, fuck, I'm going to do a great thing here. I'm going to make my grandfather <laughs> these fucking brownies oh, and, yeah. and I'm going to let him eat the brownies and, and hopefully it'll help with the trimmers. And he probably didn't even tell him. Oh, no, no, no. no. He was, he, I, I was very above board with everything. I wasn't going to be an asshole and send him to the moon without his permission. But, uh, <laughs> but he's, uh, yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm doing this really chivalrous thing. I'm gonna make him these brownies. So I hit up one of my contacts. I got this really high dollar weed. It was really good. It was a sativa, so he's not gonna be super sleepy. And you know, I do all this homework on the internet of how you're supposed to 
you know, you have to bake it in a certain way or else you actually bake off all the THC and you don't actually mm. get any of the benefits. So I put a lot of fucking work and, and time into this project to make these weed brownies. And I'm on my way down to, they were living with my parents at the time. So I'm on my way down to my parents' place and I'm like, well, fuck, I don't know how to dose these things. Cause I have no idea how strong these are going to be. I should probably eat a little bit and just, you know, a little bit, just enough to get a little buzz off of it. So I know kind of how to gauge and everybody can probably predict how the story goes, but I'm going to tell it. So I'm on my way down. I'm like, actually, I think it was about an hour before I even left. I took a bite and uh, I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. Hang on. You took a bite. Took a bite. You're on the way down. No, no, no. This is before I even leave. Oh, I, I was thinking like you're on the way down to grandpa's house already. Oh, no, no, not yet. Oh, all right. So I take a bite <clears throat> and I wait like an hour. It was an hour before we had to leave and I'm not feeling anything. I'm like, well, fuck, I'm. Better eat this whole fucking thing. Well, I was like, I I gotta I gotta get a gauge because I'm not gonna I don't want to send Grandpa to the moon. Uh, I just want him to kind of calm down a little bit. And so I'm on my way down and I take another bite. And it's about a 45 minute drive down to my folks. So right when I leave, I take another bite. And I get all the way to my parents' house. So I'm like, what in the fuck? Like I either <laughs> bake these wrong or this is shit weed. Like I'm not feeling anything off of this. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take one more bite. I'm not doing any more. One more bite. So fuck, take one more bite. And my buddy and his girlfriend were coming over to meet all of us. Yeah. And uh, and so I'm hanging out with my grandma and grandpa there, sitting there talking and everything. I've only had three bites, and I'm not talking huge bites. Like these were, they were these were reasonable bites. My yeah. goal was not to go on a space journey. My goal was just to get a feel. And so I'm sitting there talking to my grandparents and uh I'm getting thirsty, so yeah, I get up. Fucking moonwalking. Oh, dude, I get up and I go get a <laughs> glass of water. And I think, I think it was a combination of two things. So the first is it had been like an hour and a half since yeah. I had taken my first bite, and so that was starting to work. <clears throat> the second thing I think happened was all of that had been in my stomach long enough that the THC actually binds to like the oils in the food. Uh, okay. And so I think what happened is when I took a drink of water, I took a nice drink of water. <clears throat> uh it floated all of that up to the top so that it just absorbed super quick because within five minutes of me sitting down with my glass of water, I was in space and in another dimension and my grandparents were talking. And in my timeline, I was taking about five minutes to respond to every question. And the whole time I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm about to meet this girl. <laughs> and I can't even fucking think. Yeah, you're fucking like, I was, I like, my head is just, it feels like ocean waves crashing. You done messed up, oh, man, fuck yeah, I messed up. Like, my, it felt like ocean waves were crashing over my head. Like, there's just this whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> and I'm just like, what? And everyone will ask <laughs> me a question. losing it, man. Yeah, and I'm like, people would ask me a question or the conversation would naturally be to a point where I'm supposed to it talk. It was just slow mo. And I just felt like I was staring at them when I'm like, wait, now it's my turn to talk. What did they just say? Okay, she said this, and he said that. An appropriate, non-high response would be this. And then I would start talking. And to me, it felt like it was 20 minutes that everyone's just staring at me. And so that is how I met my my best friend's girlfriend at the time, now his wife. They did end up yeah. getting married. You didn't just and, do the smile and nod and oh, you were okay. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I looked, uh -huh. I looked like an <laughs> idiot over <laughs> in the corner. But so we have this and I'm the whole conversation. They were over for like an hour and a half and the whole conversation. I am just like, I am totally fucking this up. Everyone's aware that I am. <laughs> I'm on the other side of the galaxy right now. And so the next day I come down from it and uh, I talked to my buddy and I said, uh, I just want to apologize about yesterday. And he was like, what do you mean? I said, you didn't think anything was wrong. He's like, well, you seemed kind of quiet, but no, not really. And I was like, well, thank God for that. I was high off of my ass. And he just dies laughing. He's like, what happened? So You I, weren't passing the brownies out to everybody when you're sitting that's there? That's right. Yeah, no. So I, I told him what happened and he's dying laughing. I was like, dude, I was on another planet from you guys. And we were communicating through satellites is, is the best I can explain it.